And uh, today we're doing a video on the Supercharger, Supercharger review as you can call it. And uh, well, overall, I know you guys have a lot of questions about her. And uh, well, first things first is, did the, did the Supercharger change anything on Smurf besides the, besides horsepower? And yes, it did. Um, First thing first, it changed a little bit of the pull in second gear. Plus, you get this little chirp in second gear, like not chirp, but of the supercharger. You can hear whine, as you've seen from the when I put the supercharger on, I drove it a little bit, but it wasn't for long, it was like three minutes or so. And you know, now that we're on like 4,000 miles, you know, nearly, you know, however, what was it, like uh, 400 miles, a little bit over 400 miles with the supercharger on, it didn't change much. Um, traction was a little issue. I had to move from sports hard tires to sports soft tires. I skipped sports medium because number one, I didn't really, I wasn't really feeling that. And number two, this wasn't my forte. We're gonna fly by Rum. He's in sleep and beauty. So you know, and he 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 worked on that car a little bit too. So I want to get back into that car. So stay tuned for that. But, you know, overall, and it pulls a lot harder now through Redline, which is, it's insane. It, it's the car is so much faster than when it was in the stock. We're cruising at 80 miles per hour. It's not sketch or anything, bro. Oh. <laughs> Watch you just cut us off. Hitting the head or something. But, yeah, overall, the supercharger is acting fine on the car. It hasn't given me any any problems whatsoever. The only problem I really had was the traction issue. Um, and the red line kind of took getting used to and the gears because it stretched the gears out a little bit. And it wasn't much, but it was just enough where you could throw off a gear somehow, like shift them down, you say. I could have very easily, you know, hit red line on first gear, unlike I would with the 465 horsepower. And I did. Rum, you are all over my door right now. It's kind of sketch, bro. But overall, like, Supercharger is acting fun. You know, even 400 miles later, it's acting fine. Gas mileage didn't change hardly any. And as far as tires, you know, all I had to do was up, up great. Just a tad, what much? You hit me, bro. But yeah, nothing really changed about the car, but the Supercharger, nothing. Nothing affected it, the supercharger then supercharger is actually fine on it. But it was it was a great accomplishment putting it on. I said I would never do it again. Like, oh I'm gonna keep it stock. You know, because stock was enough. Now now that we're not stock anymore, finding the supercharger is just enough. I'm probably gonna keep it this way. As far as engine wise goes, um a little bit more things I wanna do to the suspension and whatnot and the handling and whatnot, but Smurf is just quite a big role, can come a long way in this past year, two years. Sleeping Beauty, can't keep up with that bro, too blank. But far, I like the supercharger guys, thanks again to whoever recommended it because it was great putting it on. Um, I mean, I wasn't looking for anything too crazy fast. You know, I drive enough of those of other people's cars most of the time. But this, this worked. It worked great. I like it. And I'm gonna keep it this way as far as this goes. Even the rims, they're staying everything staying the same from now on, guys. I promise. If nothing else, everything else is staying the same. Um, another big problem I had was going around turns at half throttle like I would normally with the stock tune. Um, I couldn't do that with the supercharger. Um, this was on sports hard tires, kind of goes back to the traction issue. But, you know, it was something about every time I would get half throttle like I am now, the tail end would kick out just a tad, which is kind of want to go back to the... 
suspension issues. We're coming in hot on these tires, boys. I, st I still can't get over that wine. It gets me every time. I love it. The wine's just insane. I love the, the insane wine. But why do I think my car is so fast right now? Is because going from the stock car to the upgraded part, and this is a mini car, it's going to seem faster to you. But it didn't really add any horsepower. It only added not even 100 horsepower, a little bit less than 100, like 90, 95 ish. Not barely any. But it was to that point where it was just enough to make it seem faster. And. <laughs> It's faster. It's not faster by much. It's faster by like 200 of a second, which isn't fast at all, obviously. But for what it was doing, a 4.7 to a 4.5060 time, that's pretty quick. It's quicker than stock, but just a tad. And you'd be surprised what that would do. Sleeping Beauty, look at, that's what Sleeping Beauty can actually do. I'm not going to push it that limits at all, because I'm not used to the car. But back to Smurf, Smurf has acted perfectly fine with the Supercharger on. Um, Spark, everything really, traction was the only issue that I really had. Other than that, it's been great. So, what I recommend for a boss, if you just want stock sound, and we'll stock everything but the supercharger. Yes, do it. Be the best thing you ever did. The best thing you ever did, trust me. See, and that that's what I mean by the red line. I'm kinda getting used to it now, but it, it's you know, still there a little bit. Anyways, it's been your boy that one cry or toxic cutting that out. Alright. But anyways, it's been your boy that one cry or toxic. Or Brian. Where do you guys want to call me? I will see you guys next time.